You're listening to the My Morning Devotional Podcast, Episode 6. Today I'm excited to have my friend Manushka Charles join me, and the name of the devotional is called Finish the Race. Hey, I'm Allison Elizabeth, a faith-filled, coffee-obsessed baker from Miami, Florida. As my dreams widened and my to-do list got longer, I found it harder to find devotional time. After seeing many people struggle to do the same, I set out to produce a five-minute daily dose of heaven. This is the My Morning Devotional Podcast. Hi guys, happy Monday. Thanks so much for joining us again today. Today, I have a special guest with us, Manushka Charles. I'm so honored to serve underneath her at VU. Um, it's been such a pleasure getting to know her and her leadership. And so I'm so thankful to have you on today. Would you please introduce yourself? Yes, my name is Manushka, and it is an honor to be able to serve with you at Boot Church, and I'm really excited to share my devotional today. Awesome. So what are we reading out of today? I'm going to be reading out of Acts 20, verse 22 to 24, and I've really been studying the book of Acts lately and studying the life of Paul and the early church, and I read this, and this really encouraged me, and it says, in verse 20, you know that I have not hesitated to preach anything that would be helpful to you but have taught you publicly from house to house. I have declared to both Jews and Greeks that they must turn to God in repentance and have faith in the Lord Jesus. And now compelled by the spirit, I'm going to Jerusalem, not knowing what will happen to me there. I only know that in every city, the Holy Spirit warns me of prison and hardships are facing me. However, I consider my life worth nothing to me. My only aim is to finish the race and complete the task the Lord Jesus has given me the task of testifying the good news of God's grace. And as I was reading that, I was just thinking about how resilient Paul was. And I'm just thinking about the climate of our nation and everything that's happening with uh, our world today. And I'm just reminded how resilient Paul was against um, things going wrong. He was really resilient in every area of his life. And he knew that he had two things that he focused on. I love it. He said that he was concerned with two things, finishing the race and completing the task. And I think it's important for us to realize that we want to be able to finish the race that I believe that God has all called us to do something. And he's all, he's put something on our heart for us to do. And our goal is to finish the race. And it's not to finish the race the fastest but it's just to complete the race. Sometimes we get caught up in trying to do things too fast and trying to move too quickly. And it's really not about how quickly we get through the race, but it's about finishing the race with excellence. He talks about completing the task and really completing it well. And I think Paul showed that he lived his life that way, that he knew that he was called to preach the gospel. He knew that he was called to tell people about Jesus and he didn't let anything stop him. He had the decision to not go to Jerusalem. He could have made the decision to not travel to some of these places that hardships would follow him, but he made a choice that despite things being hard, despite things not going the way that he would want to go, that he was committed to finishing the task. And for me in my life, I know that I want to be committed to finishing the task, even though things may seem hard, even though life may seem uncomfortable, and um, I may not know what the next day looks like. I want to say that I'm committed to the task, that no matter what trials, tribulations, no matter what I face, that I know that I'm committed to what God has called me to do. I'm committed to finishing and completing the race. I'm committed to really just following what God has set before me. And I think that oftentimes we're ready to give up when things get tough, but I think that's when we need to push through. That's when we need to move forward. That's when we need to say, hey, I can push through this difficult season. I can push through this difficult time to finish and complete the race that God has set before me. Oh, that's amazing. That's a word for today. Um, I hope anyone who's listening, I hope you take that to heart. I hope that you apply it not only today, but for the rest of this week. And and honestly, moving forward, we should not go back to where we were two weeks ago. And so thank you so much for joining me. Would you close this in prayer? Let's pray together. God, we thank you so much for this time that we're able to spend, Lord, in the morning just really reflecting on your word, Lord. And we just pray that, Father, as people are getting ready to start their day, as people are getting ready to go to work or go to school or or start their day at home, God, that you would continue to encourage us, Lord. Even though this season may seem like a tough one, that you would continue to encourage us to push forward, Lord God, for us to finish the task and to complete the race. God, I just pray for anyone who's listening out there, Lord, who needs to be encouraged. 
to, who needs, Lord God, encouragement to continue fighting the good fight, Lord God, that they would be encouraged that they're doing a good work, that they're doing something, Lord God, that is going to bless other people. So Lord, we thank you so much. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. So there you have it, your five-minute daily dose of heaven. Thank you for tuning in today. I pray these devotionals empower you to take on your day. Make sure to follow the My Morning Devotional account on Instagram at MyMorningDevo. There you will find quick links to subscribe to our podcast and the written devotionals. Until tomorrow, I pray that not only your latte is strong, but your love for Jesus is stronger.